Taste of the NFL is a huge fundraiser in Food Lovers Paradise during the Super Bowl, and I spoke with one of the organizers to learn more about the work to end student hunger. Can you just tell me why it's so important for the NFL to do this type of event to help so many children? Yes, uh, the NFL has been hosting the Taste of the NFL for over 30 years. This is really a culinary and gridiron extravaganza that's held the day before the Super Bowl in the Super Bowl City each year. Uh, the NFL has designated Gen Youth as the beneficiary of this event, and that's the organization that I lead, uh, with all proceeds dedicated to end student hunger. So now when you think about the stats being one in eight children go hungry, why is this something you think more people should know and also help fight against? Yeah, I think, you know, sadly, one in eight children in this country are living in food insecurity. And for children in communities of color, that number is closer to one in five. Uh, I think it's important that people understand that school meals are a significant source of good nutrition for these children. In fact, 30 million students eat school meals every day of the school year. However, for school breakfast, only about half of those children participate and benefit from the school breakfast program because there's hurdles that exist. Kids need to get to school a little bit earlier to get to the cafeteria to get that morning meal without being late to class. And sadly, there's a stigma sometimes associated with eating breakfast in the cafeteria. So Gen Youth, through the uh, proceeds of Taste of the NFL and other work that we do, we provide grants to school nutrition programs across the country to help overcome those barriers. And what that means is we provide grab and go equipment that school nutrition staff can use to take that breakfast from the cafeteria to right where the kids are getting off the school bus and coming into the school. The kids can eat in their classroom, they eat in the commons. It takes away that barrier of uh, time needed to get to the cafeteria and also levels the playing field in terms of the stigma. So we have found this to be significantly effective in growing breakfast participation in double digits. Awesome. And how can we get in touch with you all over the country? Um, uh, National Public Charity, we're a 501c3. We have a website, it's genyouthnow.org. Org. And if folks are interested in learning more about the Taste of the NFL, they can go to tasteofthenfl.com. Right. And what exactly does the NFL taste like? What can we expect for the folks that are going to this event? <laughs> it's amazing. And every time I talk about it, I get hungry. Uh, we will have over 30 chefs with us, five nationally renowned chefs, including Carla Hall, Andrew Zimmern, Lashida Perry. Uh, we also have Mark Buecher and Tim Love. And then we have over 20 locally loved chefs in Las Vegas this year uh, who are from some of the top restaurants in the city. And if you have been to Vegas lately, you know it's not only an entertainment capital and a sports capital, but also a food capital. They have amazing restaurants. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to have over 30 NFL players and legends. So every food station has an NFL player legend uh, there to sign autographs and mix and mingle with the guests. And then we also have silent auctions and some surprise and delight entertainment, including Cirque du Soleil. So it's a four hour uh, food, football, uh, fun um, extravaganza. And for people who aren't going to the big game, you kind of feel like you're part of it. And if you are going to the big game, then this is a way to kind of get ready and, and um, really get in the spirit of the weekend. Awesome. And before I let you go, you know, I have to ask you, who do you think is going to win it? Just talking about that with my family. And I think we'd like the 49ers to win because they haven't been in that position in a while, um, although the Chiefs are a very good team. So I think it's going to be uh, a really good game, most importantly. And we really are excited about the opportunity to continue to raise funds in conjunction with the Super Bowl to leave a lasting legacy, not only in Las Vegas, but these funds will go to schools throughout the country uh, that are generated from this event.